On the heels of the IRS targeting scandal, the CEO of Gibson Guitar Company says his organization was unfairly singled out by the federal government. Here's what he said on our program earlier this week. I don't know specifically that it had to do with my uh, political leanings or, or beliefs, uh, but I clearly believe that someone targeted our company uh, inappropriately. Somebody targeted our company inappropriately. Our next guest is calling on the Obama administration to explain the motive behind the raids on this iconic American company. Joining us right now is Tennessee Congressman Marsha Blackburn. Good morning to you. Morning, Steve. We should also point out that she has received campaign contributions from the CEO of uh, Gibson Guitars in the past. But you, you, ma'am, uh, want to make sure that the president does some explaining because it looks like he's got some to do. You're exactly right. And when you look at the amount of excessive regulation that this administration has heaped on American businesses, and then the way they've selectively enforced this. And Steve, you can look at going back to the auto dealership uh, closures right at the first of his administration and then the student loan federalization that took place and then the NLRB in South Carolina and then the czars so that they could circumvent Congress and have the czars answer just to the White House yeah. what you see is this selective enforcement and giving us some information but not all the information we're saying hey come clean on this sure and let's explain this explain why you have selectively picked people out through this enforcement. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, he's been unable to get some things through Congress rather than pass laws, what he's been able to do is he runs a bunch of organizations and they can regulate, you know, that's companies right. and whatnot, and that's what they do have done in an excessive fashion, you say. I do. And you're seeing this as our committees have done their oversight and due diligence. You know, two years of work went into the IRS issue that Chairman Kemp is leading right now. But he has worked on getting this information. You get the anecdotal evidence. You start to assemble it. It's coming from different members of Congress. And so he will oversee this investigation of the IRS. Then you have what we've done at Energy and Commerce, the issues with Gibson. Solyndra, uh, now we have HHS with Secretary Sebelius. All of these are coming into play, and so we're going to have a full plate of looking at this regulation, asking the White House to explain why, why were you doing this. Sure. The list of grievances is getting longer, unfortunately. Congressman uh, Marsha Blackburn, we thank you very much for joining us from Good the beautiful be city of Nashville. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. All right.